Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoast Tech 2. Now in this episode I'm going to show you a cool trick which you can see in action here. You can see a coaster being lifted up by a chain lift and uh, then being returned backwards. So it's a trick I first saw uh, being used by uh, Zarathustra. It's actually really easy uh, to do, uh, but it uh, does give a really nice uh, effect. And I think it's a great thing to use in the, in the switchback coaster. You can also see it on some uh, real coasters. Uh, I believe uh, Expedition Everest also lifts up the train a little bit before returning it. <laughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, I've made a little demonstration coaster, uh, which we're gonna uh, give one of these chain lift sections that uh, releases the train backwards. All right, here's our uh, demonstration coaster. So this is just a simple uh, corkscrew layout. So if we look at it, um, well, yeah, it's just uh, goes down here a little bit, goes up the chain lift through the loops. And here, th here there's a spike where it uh, reverses and then it should go into the loops backwards. I did a little merge here, just uh, so the train goes onto this track when going backwards. And then here there's another spike where it uh, reverses once again, and then it simply continues on to the station. So here it now uh, reverses, but as you will see, it no longer has enough speed to make it uh, through the loop. So it will be stuck here forever which is a very long time. So, um, first off, what cheats are we going to need? Well, first we need to disable clearance checks for this, uh, for to give this uh, train a uh, chain lift with, uh, with a release. Uh, I also disabled support limits for the ride that we're going to use to do this. And, well, we don't need this one. We probably need to show all operating modes because our track is no longer a complete circuit. So now I just put in both higher mode, but you can also put in powered launch mode. Just uh, yeah, anything to prevent the message uh, track is not a complete circuit when you uh, test the ride. I also put allow chain lifts on all track pieces, because we're going to need that to put a chain lift here. Now we will want a chain lift here on this track, but we don't want it uh, all the way through the track. So let's say uh, our train is now six cars, I believe. or. Uh, five cars actually. So I'm just going to put the chain lift here. What we want is that the the train gets uh, yeah, lifted up, but it shouldn't get lifted over the top of the hill. So you should calculate for yourself. So uh, if the back car of the train would be here, the, the train gets lifted at as long as one part of the train is on the chain lift. So, if the back car is over here, uh, I think it wouldn't go over the edge. So this is where I put the chain lift, but for your coaster you should uh, calculate for yourself where it would be. Or just uh, give it a few tests. Now, if we test this, we'll find that the coaster uh, gets stuck at the chain lift. Because the chain lift will keep trying to move up the coaster. The coaster wants to go down by gravity. As you can see, it just gets uh, stuck here. This could also be a result of the boat higher mode. <laughs> okay, um, well, that's one thing about boat higher mode. It prevents uh, your ride from actually crashing when it goes uh, over the top. All right, uh, what we'll do next is that we'll actually want to make the release track. So for that we're actually going to make a second ride, we'll use a dinghy slide here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the enclosed tube. And we'll just uh, build it in the same direction as the coaster, we'll build it here. Uh, and because the enclosed tube is actually different track pieces than the normal straight track, the, it won't merge. If we would use the normal unenclosed tube, uh, it would immediately merge here. And that's not what we want. So we use the enclosed track. Um, also need to unpause the game. So use the enclosed track and just build upwards like this. Now we need to remember where the chain lift is. 
I'll uh, quickly enable allow arbitrary right type changes because if we do that we can change the dinghy slide for example into a lift and it will be invisible that will allow us to see where everything is so the chain lift is here and here's the track piece after that so at the track piece after the chain lift that's where we'll want to make a merge and also before the chain lift so how does that work um, so and the, the chain lift lifts the coaster up on the track piece after the chain lift uh, the coaster uh, train moves to the dinghy slide track so there we want to merge uh, then it will go downwards and here it will merge back to the coaster track so let's change it back into a dinghy slide so for this here we'll want to merge right after the chain lift so I'll remove the dinghy slide track piece here and we'll make a normal uh, unenclosed dinghy slide tube here and that way since they're the same uh, track elements now they will merge you can see I can no longer build here that's because uh, they're merged and we'll do the same right before the chain lift so here we use the unenclosed dinghy slide track we can remove this track piece here because we no longer need it all right then we go in the tile inspector just to make sure the merges are done correctly so at this point uh, the train has to go to the dinghy slide so the dinghy slide track here should be on the bottom end of the list so right now the dinghy slide is below the corkscrew coaster track so that's why the train will go to the corkscrew coaster track um, this is where the train goes back to the corkscrew coaster track so here the corkscrew coaster track should be on the bottom it is so that's why here the train will go back to the coaster coaster track all right uh, i will first give it a quick test with the dinghy slide visible and let's see uh, what happens so i will speed it up a little bit to get it past the chain lift and the loops so now it will reach the dinghy slide section now here it merges towards the dinghy slide track you could see it being lifted up by the chain lift a little bit and then it returned back uh, backwards may have gone a little bit fast but uh, i'll show it uh, a few times more okay um, i will now show it with the dinghy slide track invisible i will simply change it to lift or you could use uh, crooked house whatever you want um, then we can see it uh, more clearly without the dinghy slide track Again, I will speed it up a bit to get it past the loops. Alright, pay good attention here. The coaster now gets lifted up a bit by the chain lift. And then when it reaches the top, it returns back uh, through the invisible dinghy slide track. Bypassing this piece of chain lift. So yeah, that's how it's done. Now, I could probably also change these uh, track pieces into chain lift. Since the coaster goes to the dinghy slide track here. And, and that means uh, it won't actually be on this coaster track I think this will work, I haven't tested this before but uh, if it doesn't we can just put some fake track pieces here let's quickly give this a, a test I think it should bypass these uh, further chain lift pieces oh, <laughs> looks like it doesn't alright, probably because there's a chain lift here it uh, will actually uh, not merge but it will actually continue on to the dinghy slide track so that's probably something we'll want to avoid so here i will uh, remove these chain lift pieces again and what i'm going to do instead is let's uh let's hide this track piece and we'll just make a fake track here actually we can probably just make some backwards track of the same uh, coaster type so i will just copy this uh, this piece here of this spike i'll make sure it's on top but uh, it doesn't really matter since the track is uh, 
in reverse anyway, so it won't merge. And here we'll put chain lift, and here we'll put chain lift as well. Now, th for this coaster, this works because this uh, Gosho coaster also has uh, chain lift sprites for the for the reverse track, because there's also the reverse incline launch uh, shuttle mode, which uses the steep uh, backwards chain lift. Now, this should not affect uh, how the coaster operates at all, because the coaster doesn't actually go in this uh, track. Here we go. And now it just operates like it, uh, like it used to. Alright, I uh, hope this tutorial is useful for you. I hope you can apply this trick uh, somewhere. <laughs> Sadly, this tutorial is now uh, posted right after the switchback contest, where it would have been useful. But, oh well. It's, all, it's never too late to learn. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.